hey guys I'm back all right this video is gonna be my extra dimension haul um, as you know that collection also came out I don't remember the date but I didn't really pick up too many stuff I'm not a big fan of like the extra dimension stuff I'm really not um, even when it came out I think last year with superb the skin finish I didn't get any of them but I actually did regret not getting um, I think it was superb so this time um, I actually end up ordering two skin finishes and that's all that I really wanted from the collection so I'm just gonna share with you the two skin finishes that I got the first one is called double definition and double definition looks like this and I think that is a beautiful color so this is the I guess like the goldish part And then what I like about these is that they have two different colors. Whereas last year, I think it was just one whole thing. So I definitely like what they did this time around. And then the darker side looks like this. So that's the two colors right there. So I definitely like this. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful, this will make a beautiful highlight. Um, yeah. And I think they're about $30 each. And then the other one that I got was Shape the Future. And Shape the Future looks like this. This one is definitely a little more darker. So this is the dark color in this one. Looks like this. And I'll do that one down here for you to see it. The color is right there. And this is the lighter side for this one. Looks like this is the lighter one. And I'll do that right next to it down here. So here you have the two colors in here. So I think these two are pretty. I didn't get the third one. I don't remember why. But these two were definitely my favorites. Because I don't have anything like this. And I thought they were beautiful. And I really love the fact, like I said, they didn't do like one big thing. It was just... Um, I like how they split the two and have like two separate colors. That was really brilliant, Mac. Good job. And since that's all I picked up, um, while I was there, I picked up a few things. Because I always have a lot of back to Mac stuff because I am such a Mac addict. So I have like, I think I bought 18 things in um, today or the other day. So I, yeah, I have a lot of back to Mac stuff. I usually just pile them up and then when I have like a lot, a lot, then I'll go so I don't have to keep going all the time. So I was able to get an eyeshadow and this is Orb. This will make a nice highlight because my favorite highlight is Arena. Like I love that highlight to the part. Like it's so sad that I'm reaching pan. So I wanted to try something else. Um, Orb. And this is a satin. Satin finish. And then this will make a great highlighter. So maybe I can give my Arena a break for now. Um, another one that I got was Crystal Frost. And I kept going back and forth with this color, but I think what got to me is that it is a frost. I mean, actually, the name is Crystal, and it's a frost finish. Um, it's like a grayish with, I'm really bad at describing shadows, but it's like a grayish with, like, purple or something like that. I, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely different, and I don't have this color at all in my collection. So let me swatch that one for you. Like, it looks like this. Like a silverish purple. And I think that's what caught my attention because I don't have anything like that. See that color right there? I think that's a nice color. It's like a silvery purple. And I'm like, oh, this is pretty. So. And last but least, I got Beauty Mark. Which I had Beauty Mark. Because what I do with MAC is like I actually have a list on my phone so that I don't end up buying the same things over and over or buying shadows twice. Especially now, like I have like... Um, one palette blues and greens, one pinks and purples, one neutral, and one that's just kind of random. So I actually have four palettes, so I try not to buy the same thing. And there's some colors that are just so similar or so close to what you already have in your collection. And those are just the ones that are in my palettes. And not to mention the ones that I have that's just single eyeshadows like these. So this one is Beauty Mark. And Beauty Mark is a velvet finish. And I actually wanted Beauty Mark for a while. And you know what? I actually have to double check to make sure... That I don't have Beauty Mark. 
so I hope I don't I really hope I don't um, but it looks like this very pretty color it's like this burgundy with like I don't like different let me see if I can swatch that for you too I'm trying to look for a clean finger looks like this beautiful 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 I I don't think I have anything like this because this is beautiful so and then while I was there I picked up this 235 split fiber brush and it, this is the all over the eyes shadow brush and I think it's like $31 for this brush but it looks like this just some split fibers so but I don't know I wanted this brush for some reason but I'm gonna try it out and then I also got a MAC brush cleansers this is what I use to clean my brushes pretty much every day <laughs> So I had, like, for example, when I went to back to MAC, I think I had, like, 12 or 13 of these bottles because I have a whole bunch. I pretty much go to one bottle a month or, yeah, pretty much a bottle a month or a bottle and a half a month. So, but, yeah, this is my favorite cleanser. And then I always wanted to try out the MAC makeup wipes. I have heard some great things about them. I never wanted to try them because I'm like, I'm not paying no $20 for no makeup wipes. But I always use, um, my favorites were actually the, um, Clean and Clear. But I realized lately, after using them for almost probably like two, three years straight, that it's time for me to start branching off because they're just not doing this. They're not doing the work. They're not really, I don't know. Like, I don't know if they change how the formula is. I don't know what it is, but they're just not working for me anymore. So then I'm trying out these Ponds, Ponds. And these, like, they're a little rough, so I don't like those either. So I finally decided to just, you know what, I'm going to try these. And I got the big bag, which is 100 sheets, and I think this bag is like $20, I'm not sure. But I think the big one is 20 It's either 20 or a little more than 20 But I just didn't, and I got the big bag, because it has 100 sheets, I'm figuring 100, because I can use one makeup wipe pretty much, pretty much every day. Because most, I'm at my house like about seven days a week. So, and I usually wear some type of makeup every day. So, I figure 100 sheets should last me close to three months. You know, 10 will be a little extra, but should definitely last me, I want to say two and a half to three months. Because if you're using one sheet a day, I think that should do the job, especially for makeup wipes that's over $20. But yeah, I heard a lot of great things, so I'm going to give it a try and, and see. Hopefully it works for me or I like it, but hey, I'm going to give it a try. And like I said, because there's so much in there, it should last me longer than me spending, because clean and clear is about $7. And I was spending about $7 for, I think, 25 I think, something like that. But anyway, guys, um, it's just my MAC haul. Um, picked up two skin finishes that I thought was really pretty from the Extra Dimension. Um, MAC is really killing me with these collections because I just can't help it. But, um... Yeah, so if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions about other makeup wipes that you know, let me know. Alright, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.